what the I ain't gonna purpose front, though. is. I'm I'm starting to I'm starting to really get tired of um Yo, it's even to the point now when like I tell people we do our podcast and shit and like the first thing they think is like what kind of put? Yep. Nah, nigga. Every we time we don't do no bashing on either side. Either side. Like we have our we have our topics and shit, but it's never like it's never bashing. Like, know what I'm saying? But these niggas, a lot of these, it's terrible. Bitch, fuck. It, I'm gonna just say it. Fuck. A lot of these bitch ass, pussy ass podcast niggas was the niggas who didn't get no girls in high school, probably didn't get no girls in college. The niggas, the the girls that they used to love or be in love with and couldn't bag, yep. it was other niggas fucking them, other niggas bagging them, other niggas taking them out, niggas that had money or whatever the case. They just want the niggas that girls like. Yep. So now they got a little punk ass platform or a big punk ass platform. Yep. Got a little bit of bread from they fucking YouTube residuals and shit. And now they feel like, oh, I'm about to shit on every pretty girl. It's terrible. That shit corny is a bitch. It is. And most it of these niggas is pussy as hell. Most of these niggas, without the bread and without the platform, couldn't bag no women. And niggas be out here talking about they speaking for all men. That's a fact. Oh, men, no, nigga, men, no. This is you. You projecting your own shit, nigga. Yep. Stop saying men do this and men Because every nigga not the same. Every and nigga not lame annoying. like y'all niggas be lame. Like, every nigga not the same as these niggas. So I hate when niggas say they speaking for all men, nigga. Because a real man will slap the shit out you. Punk ass niggas. Like, but these niggas, niggas is just corny as shit, yo. And it's dry, right. it's, and it's counterproductive it's because it's driving more of a wedge in between men and women. Yeah. Because now you see a higher influx of women coming out with the same kind of podcast, but on the flip. That's the fact. With, with man bashing shit. And it's like, yo, you can't really fault them. But at the same time, it's like it's corny on both sides. It is. Because now it's like it's a war on who can do or say the, the, the most corniest shit. Is why to the I mean, other to the other sex like that shit whack as a bitch. And I think it's it's crazy too because depending on how many views, how many likes, somebody's gonna take that shit. That's seriously. it. It's just content over everything type shit. And this is terrible. Like people shouldn't think that way. So, but yeah, a lot of these niggas, man. A lot of these niggas corny as shit. Like I ain't gotta say names. Like y'all know who the 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 bigger podcast niggas is. Know what I'm saying? I don't got a name drop because I'm not no clout chasing ass nigga. So. It ain't about to get no love over here, but it sucks. Like, I feel like whatever you feel, whatever you got your own personal insecurities or problems or whatever, work that shit up with yourself nah, before you go on this platform and project that yo, shit onto other people. That's because even, even with the money that they have, these niggas still, still. wouldn't, these niggas still ain't the girls that they like first choice. Yep. If they was in a room with other celebrities and shit, these niggas is not, they're still not going to be the niggas that any, even the regular women are going to gravitate toward. Yep. You, they still going to be on the back burner. It's terrible. And niggas can't look in the mirror. No. Because now niggas got the money. They got a little, I guess they feel like they got a little power. They got the money. They got the platform and shit. But nigga, you still a lame. Yeah. If you, if, if they put you in a room with other celebrity niggas that's not on this corny shit you own and you got money they're not even gonna look at you twice niggas is, they still not gravitating not toward these niggas so I don't know I just think all that shit corny I think the podcast game need to uh, I don't know I think the gatekeepers need to figure something out something cause some of the shit cause is we keep trash. blowing up this corny shit man and I'm, I'm I'm really getting tired of the um the, the women bashing shit and the men bashing shit. These fucking he made he man woman hater club ass niggas. Like women are bad too. Like I said, it's just No, that's why I say I, I hate that shit on both sides. On both sides. But as a man, terrible. like as a man and I do a podcast. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And we talk about real topics and sometimes yeah. the topics we talk about are gonna be like sex based. Not sex like sexual, but like gender right. based. Like, you know what I'm saying? We might be talking about some shit that a woman did or that women do or that men do and like you can't even really approach that shit from a real angle because it sounds like the shit that's going around right now. Yeah. So, but that's the that's the new thing. Everybody's trying to get on with the podcasting, and they feel like, oh, that's the new, that's the easiest wave is to just talk shit about. And what, it makes what, you look like a terrible fucking person. Yeah, that shit corny. It's it's. I mean, it's a way and it's an etiquette, and I'm not saying that every podcast that talks about the opposite sex is is corny or whack. Every one of them not. Right. But a lot of them shits are. Yeah. Because there's it's no substance behind it. No. Nah. It's just niggas say a bunch of wild shit for shock value or women say wild shit about niggas for shock value 
and they trying to get the clicks and the in the you know i think you just got to be mindful of like what you say on social media and how you want people to receive the message because motherfuckers gonna see you in real life and if you're doing that shit for fucking clickbait yeah. you look like a fucking piece of shit that's it that's it you know what i mean like that shit in real life is what matters like stop doing the shit for likes it ain't yeah. even fucking worth it it just nah, makes you like not. a terrible ass person, especially if you really don't think that way. Yeah, and the crazy shit. So, when you doing shit for likes, like you should actually do shit that people actually like. Yeah. Because the, at the end of the day, our goal is to get likes and shit. Like yeah. we we all need it. Like we need that shit for our platform. Like the biggest platforms. Like the likes and views is what we do this shit for. Yeah. I mean, we do it because we love it. We've been doing this shit since before podcasts became popular. Right. And you know what I'm saying. This shit has been a journey. So yes, it's not like, sure. you know what I'm saying? If if we didn't actually enjoy doing this shit, did we, this shit would have been gone. It would have been gone. You know what I'm saying? You know what we've been through. Yeah. Kyle not here. He can't. But we know what we've all been through yeah. with this fucking shit together. Like, we've been on this journey together and shit. So, yeah. I don't know. But some people, you know, they just look at podcasting right now as the easiest way to blow it. This shit is the new rap. Yeah. It's the new rap game. Until they run out of content because the shit they say gets old. Yeah, and that's the and thing. It's repetitive. So man. most people don't have any substance. Ain't got shit. They don't have no long term substance. They so don't they think can... with their own thoughts. You doing shit because other people are doing it. Yep. Like it's the craziest shit ever. Yeah, because most people think they can just uh, when it comes to starting a podcast, they think they can just grab a mic or get in a phone, put it on a tripod, say some wild shit, go live, say some wild shit. Yeah. And that's it. Like nah, like. Yeah, that shit works at first because, you know, it's shock value. People, we, The world we live in, we love negative shit. True. So if a nigga get up there or a woman get up there and they start saying some wild shit, we going to go because it's entertaining. Yeah. But, like, niggas ain't doing that shit every week. Hell no, they're not. Like, after a while, they might watch, like, the first couple weeks. If you do that shit once a week, they might watch the first couple joints. And then after that, they it's are. like they going to get tired of that shit. Yep. You're going to grow repetitive. Like, people going to get tired of the bullshit. So, yeah. I don't know, man. I ain't gonna rant too crazy, <laughs> but I feel you. Yeah, I just think that a lot of that shit corny as hell, and um, I don't know. But I guess it's a lane for everybody. It is. Maybe it's just maybe maybe we just old and out of touch. Maybe shit different now. It's different outside. Outside is so different. That's a fact. <laughs>